you are about to see a transition from this very dark area looking through this gen 3 pvs 14 quickly switching behind me to a very well lit area and this will hopefully all serve as a demonstration relative to the gain adjustment which is in my case a simple knob that can be turned and as you can actually see demonstrated right here and now as i make this adjustment it can lower the brightness this is actually a feature that not every pvs 14 or rather not every night vision device has this is at its full brightness in a very dark area now let's go ahead and turn it over actually and i'll give you that impression of a very well lit area look at the difference already look at all of these lights and just how bright this parking lot is in general this is at full gain full brightness looking all the way down there first as i make the adjustment down with the gain look at that see great detail much crisper image not actually turned down all the way first and foremost though i would like to give a shout out to Lacentia arms co as well as custom night vision for making some videos on this topic as well sharing their more professional information i'm going to use that information but also add to it by giving demonstrations as I just did, as well as experimenting with this device as you see here. Now it may look like I'm adjusting the gain control, but no, I'm actually adjusting an iris attachment, which I have a dedicated video on that you can watch. These are two different forms though. The iris is actually a physical attachment, which is literally closing a diopter and essentially having a very similar function to the gain control by limiting the amount of light passing through the device and at this point in this extremely dark area almost to a degree where you cannot see at all now before we get too far into the weeds let's go ahead and just discuss what exactly is the gain control well it is essentially a brightness adjustment but not every device has this there are devices with an auto gain feature which this is essentially being at a maximum or the most powerful uh, level of gain or brightness possible and some people have preferences uh, one way or another relative to that one reason why a manual gain such as we see here on the pvs 14 is preferred is it allows you to of course get that extra bit of detail especially when looking at such as we have over here the brighter areas you are able to reduce the blown out image which can occur when you're in such a well-lit environment and you're able to see just more detail by just turning this down a bit shadows become more apparent and actually we have now a passing car with their headlights on so i will dim it as a decent demonstration here so we have this image now versus the more blown out version that you see with it turned all the way up it's actually too bright here's another perfect demonstration actually exactly the opposite of using the gain to your advantage in a high brightness area we are back in the dark spot and check this out so notice all of the noise this is with the gain adjusted to its maximum level of brightness and we do have a noticeable level of noise in the image even in this extremely dark environment so if you watch though as i lower the gain what we will see is a reduction also in the noise kind of distortion in the image with the further 
that I lower the gain. So what we get is a slightly cleaner image. So having that manual adjustment is actually beneficial to you even in darker environments. As we see here, as I increase the gain adjustment, and then compared to the level of noise at its brightest. So we see that manual gain adjustment even has its advantages in dark environments. So that gain adjustment allows this, but we will also be talking about the iris, which if we look at the same dark area, we can similarly reduce, but with some added features. The iris can actually serve as some form of light protection. Uh, some people question, well, if I lower the gain setting on my night vision device, will it protect my night vision device from harsh lights? And that's actually not the case. An iris though, because you're physically shutting a diopter and making the amount of light entering the device so much smaller, it can actually serve as a form of protection over a gain control where if I switch over to adjusting the gain, you are lowering the brightness, but for lack of a better term, this is in, I guess, an artificial way of doing it to where you're not actually reducing the amount of incoming light to my knowledge. So there is a bit of a difference there. Now, another factor to consider is when helmet mounting a night vision device, preserving your peripheral vision as well as your natural night vision. And this kind of works together. If you don't know, when wearing a night vision device, you can actually see sometimes to your left and right even though the monocular is situated in the center of your eyesight, you still have some peripheral. Now, of course, this is the 40 degrees that a monocular or even most binocular setups provide you, but you can, with your naked eye, actually look to the left and right of the monocular in most cases. Believe it or not, being able to dim the gain control well, actually, and actually this does make sense, I mean, it lowers the intensity of the light going into your eye, therefore more easily conserving the natural night vision or an eyesight that you've acquired uh, just by being in the darkness with your eye. So that could be potentially helpful, as well as when you pair that with the fact that actually by dimming the gain control itself, it actually allows you to see better in that peripheral, not only by conserving the night vision that you've acquired, but by also just allowing the balance to just be uh, more present or equal, and they're essentially just being less contrast. If you can imagine, obviously, having a very powerful monocular putting its highest brightness into your eye, it's going to wash out your peripheral vision. So by lowering it, you're actually able to somewhat bring that peripheral vision back into focus. Another worthwhile aspect to consider is eye fatigue. If you are intending to wear your night vision device for hours on end, having the more powerful light setting being directed into your eye could potentially give you more of a sense of eye fatigue compared to the lowered gain control. So now let's just go ahead into some examples. And I chose this location specifically for this reason where you can't tell, but this area, this little from this area of trees to this area is extremely dark and contrast with that parking area. So we're just going to, in a POV format, I'm just going to experiment with these a little bit more. So we have the gain on this PVS-14 Elbit thin-filmed white phosphor unit set to its maximum. Let's go ahead back to the very well-lit field at its maximum gain. Of course, this is due to 
street lights, street lamps. So as you can see, we just transitioned from a very dark area to a very well lit area. I'm going to lower the gain and we get much greater detail. In fact, now we can see the fireflies off in the distance. That is very interesting. And this is a much preferable image versus the more blown out, higher gain. Look at the stars, I'm just a little bit mesmerized. So this is with a lower gain and we can see that the image is much less blown out. Now, this is not offering any protection whatsoever. So against a bright light source, it's not going to help. We will lower it even more all the way down. Now this is the gain set to its absolute minimum. And this is just the gain control, nothing else. There we have it. Now let's go ahead and bump the gain up. And so why I bring, look at that great difference. Now why I bring this to your attention with the iris is because it can be used similar to gain. I just constricted the iris and now we have a very similar effect with a great bonus of it actually offering a small amount of protection towards the image intensifier by physically providing a barrier between the amount of light entering the tube and the tube itself. This is with the iris all the way closed, essentially forming a pinpoint in the same very well lit area. So my friend, I hope that you learned a little bit and enjoyed this little demonstration and talk about gain and the use of an iris with your night vision device. Thank you very much. Always remember, don't have a good day. Have a good night.